Hi everyone, today I'm back with a new pick a card reading and today we have four piles so we have the first pile, second pile, third pile and four piles. In this reading today we'll be focusing on what kind of motivational messages that you need to hear as well as some inspirational messages as well. So go ahead and pick whichever pile and we'll start with the first pile. This is pile 1 reading if you chose pile 1. So we are going to look at what kind of motivational, inspirational messages that you need to hear. And with that, we shall dive into the cards. So the first card here, we have the strength. Nice. We have the tree of feathers. This is the tree of swords. And the last card here, we had the Ace of Shelves. Okay, so the first thing I hear is that you are going to expect a lot of happiness coming your way. Uh, I think that this happiness is going to be something that will lift you up and really just like bring you as a whole. So it's the kind of feeling where you get where you trump the evil. And why I say so is because of the strength. I see that in the past you have gone through some kind of obstacles, a uh, difficulty, it's a tough uh, obstacle but you managed to um, conquer it and that's great you know because you went through the obstacle with strength, there's a lot of determination and you managed to come to a place where you can just spread your wings and fly, tree of swords heartache, pain, the feeling when you don't get something, the feeling of being rejected, dejected. The cards are telling you that um, liberation is yours, okay? Liberation is definitely for you to just swim and bask in. Ace of cups, ace of shelves. Lasting happiness, good opportunity, a good opportunity that is going to bring you lots of fruitful kind of memories so this is what the cards are trying to say very exciting very new like very opportunistic kind of act in a very good way in a sense that you will love it i don't know how to describe it's the kind of it's the kind of feeling you get when you when you know that your hard work has paid off yep and with that um, what kind of inspirational, motivational messages I would say is to just keep doing your own thing. No, just keep doing your own thing. If there's something that needs clearing, you have to just clear them, release them. Because this is time for you to recover. It's time for you to spread your own wings and take what's yours, you know, take, take whatever that belongs to you. And really go out with strength, go out with courage. If you are feeling left out in the cold, don't worry because um, there's a kind of spirit, the kind of stuff that is protecting you all the way. So if you are religious or such, don't, don't worry. Uh, God is with you. The Lord is with you. The spirits are always with you to carry out your, your tasks faithfully, honestly, and... Um, yeah, courageously, yes. Hmm. Okay. And with that, um let's see, did I miss out anything? Ah yes. Ace of Cups and Tree of Feathers. Usually when you have these two cards you think of like heartbreak and relationships. So some of you guys may have come out from a relationship or you have lost a friend don't worry um, new friends are gonna come and it's gonna make you very happy you haven't lost anything because after all your identity is with you and so just keep moving just keep doing your own thing just be happy very contented if you have a project that you are doing just focus on that project if there's something, a new opportunity, a workshop or an invitation to go somewhere, just say yes to it. Say yes to 
happiness say yes to opportunities okay so with that let's look at the cards that we have here okay so this is the time for you to also tend to your garden so if you don't have a garden um, tend to yourself okay take care of yourself during this period especially now this past month is um, kind of a rough period because of our because of COVID-19 so definitely there's a need for you to make sure you take care of yourself wash your hands don't touch your face if you haven't washed your hands you know that kind be hygienic okay be responsible for your own health so this is the self-care card maybe if COVID-19 the the situation gets better some of you guys may want to take a swim okay and we have here a peace I create peace prosperity and joy in my life so some of you guys may need to choose what makes you happy and what makes you feel very joyful um, list down the stuff that um, you feel makes you very contented very joyful peace card it seems that some of you guys may feel may feel that um, you may feel at times that you don't know what you're doing and I think that the cards are telling you to find what is your life purpose what why do you enjoy most that enjoy most and you feel very contented about maybe if you have if you are in a job that you don't like it's time for you to search for a new one if you're studying something that you don't like it's time for you to really find something that interests you okay so find something that interests you and will bring you a lot of joy and very um, happy do something that you like so again like some of you guys especially um, if you are going to university use that time that period to really focus on your self-development so if you like coding find some kind of club or activity club that will let um, let you um, improve your coding skills like volunteering as well nowadays nowadays there's a lot of volunteer organizations that are looking for people who are able to code for example um, in my country singapore uh, recently the ywca young women's um, christian association they are looking for volunteers who have knowledge on html css um, coding skills so if you happen to have one um, do check their website and um, state your interest to them about how you want to volunteer so this is my suggestion and let's see i think i think mainly is really just to do whatever that makes you happy and just do your own thing tend to your own garden if you have been neglecting yourself because you have been giving a lot of time to your friends you know really take this opportunity to sit aside to do whatever that you like so there's a there's many things that's happening but the main thing is to do whatever that makes you happy this is what i can tell you and i think that's about it um, for this reading if you do like this short reading feel free to like this video and do subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't and i will see you guys in my next reading take care and have a good day this is pal 2 reading if you chose pal 2 so today we'll be taking a look at what kind of motivational inspirational messages that you need to know and with that we shall dive into the cards So the first card we have here is the Knight of Shelves. This is the Knight of Cups, Charm, Passion. Ooh, okay. Uh, first thing I notice is that maybe this card is telling you to stand up and be firm about your decision. So maybe you guys having 
a hard time like deciding something okay then we have the queen of pentacles queen of crystals porcupine comfort prosperity okay interesting and we have here the ten of cups ten of shells blessings well-being very interesting very interesting okay so actually in fact these cards when i was shuffling they came out as reversal so there's three messages that you need to know firstly for the knight of cups is that you guys have to stand firm and uh, stand strong stand tall and be firm with your decision for the queen of pentacles it's about shedding your own skin and coming out of your comfort zone so you guys may be venturing into into a new environment something very unknown but it's telling you to be firm be yourself be confident okay because whatever you're doing you're you're doing right okay with the knight of shelves and the queen of crystals i see that you guys are already taking a, a steps but you just need to push a little bit further in order to reach a certain goal and in future when you do so happiness are, is going to come to you and this is what this is blessing in the original tarot deck you see um, a kind of happy family and a rainbow so you're almost there okay you're almost reaching there you have everything on your plate but so long as you stay positive okay because initially the card when i shuffled it came out as reverse so maybe you guys are feeling a bit pessimistic but inside you there's this tint of hope inside the rainbow the spark in you that you need to discover and you need to get out of your comfort zone so this is a very interesting simple message it's just for you to stay positive don't stray away from your goals be confident don't be shy <laughs> uh, and just have fun venturing out into the new and beyond okay so yeah mm. okay and we shall look at other cards as well by the way you guys have um, two C melodies card and two secret garden cards I don't know it's a lucky day or what but I think it's a good sign so the first card here we have is strength stay afloat and feel steady and calm Ooh, just like what I say stand tall stand, stand strong and be firm about your decision whatever so really going out with strength okay just go out go and do things with strength be calm be steady and be afloat the strength definitely has relation with the knight of cups and just keep moving okay yeah you are on the right track barnacles only grow on the dog ship so keep moving stock up your plate and just have fun you know have fun in your um, adventure and really see things in the very positive light okay so you guys also knight of cups is also about passion so if you guys feel that you are not doing uh, something right or if you feel like what you are doing it doesn't spark joy it's time for you for you to really stand up and just go and chase your passion or else you will never have that blessings coming your way that kind of rainbow that you want with the ten of cups see there's a lot of like there's prosperity blessings well-being so a lot of like money wise and if it's not about money there's a lot of experience good experience coming if only you um, find the passion and don't be scared okay don't be scared and the last two cards we have here wildflower live an uncontrolled life free to grow anywhere and bound by nothing so really just do your own thing okay do your own thing be happy in your pursuit 
if you have been living by other people's expectation, it's time for you to do your own thing. Free from the constraints, okay? And we have here to bloom and attract more than butterflies. Wow. Okay. It's interesting the fact that we have four cards and some of the cards that have correlation to one another and what they have in common, the message like what I've said is to really just be firm, be confident, don't be shy, just venture into something new with an open mind and if you are doing something that you are not loving it, you know, it's time for you to step away, move and really live an uncontrolled life and be bound by nothing, okay? So in order to attract more than just butterflies, attract more than just prosperity, it attracts blessings. This is your end goal. Just remember, look at how beautiful this... Um, I can't remember what's this bird. It's the kind of bird that you see on the beach. And look at that, he's stocking up his shelves and all that. So this is you, you know? Collect good experiences, make new memories, make new friends. It could be also friends. It's time for you to move and really just spread your wings and just flock around with your new friends, you know. Find people who have similar interests to you. Time to go network. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think that is about it for you, Pal 2. If you do like this reading, feel free to like this video and if you want to check out my other content feel free to subscribe as well and that's all from me i hope you have a good time and stay safe have a good day this is pow tree reading if you chose pow tree so today we'll be taking a look at what are the messages to keep you motivated or inspirational and with that we shall dive into the cards We have the Knight of Wands. Ooh. Okay. Queen of Shelves. And we have the Eight of Acorns. Okay. Fast movement, compassionate, and results. Okay, the first thing I see here, I don't know why, I, I see food. But obviously this is not food, but this is the first thing that can come to my mind. Uh, are you hungry? Maybe. Okay, so... I see you guys are a group of people who are med mediators. So if you have not tried 16 personality, I bet to you that you guys are under the diplomat group. So regardless of what, the most important thing is that you guys have compassion. You have peace. Okay? It's a lot to do with people. So I think these messages is about trying to surround yourself with love. Okay? Trying to surround yourself with people who will lift you up and really just go forth. Action, drive, get your result, you know. Do things, just go for it. So if you've been holding back because you feel like you need to or some obligation, please let go of the constraints and just fight, okay? Just go for it. Just sidle your way through to get to that result, okay? Eight of acorns. Eight of acorns is eight of wands and eight of wands in the tarot deck is usually what you see is a... Uh, eight sticks like you know like charging down from the sky instead of charging down the sky you are supposed to fly up to the sky think of it like highest in the room if you uh if you know what's this song this is travis scott's song the kind of feeling you know highest in the room and if you have not seen the uh the cover art of it it's if i'm not wrong it's a cover art with um a stairs, not stairs, I, I think it's a ladder up to the sky. <laughs> That's the imagery that I get, okay? So you're supposed to leap yourself higher than what you think you can. I think there's a lot of potential to grow. 
I see there's a lot of, of potential to really just go forth and just be frank with yourself, you know, like just if you want to do something, just go for it and don't let yourself be stopped because you feel like you can't do it or what, you have the confidence, okay, you have the confidence to go forth and do things, get that reward, there's a lot of things here, like most of the messages I'm getting is that is to go after what you want so this could apply for a um, relationship if you like somebody and you really want them you have to go forth okay you have to ask them out instead of hiding behind playing mind games the kind you know? and if it's something to do with uh, education it's time for you to go forth and just learn pick up new skills learn from somebody and if you really don't know what's happening in class and you really want that answer go and consult your lecturers and instead of like sitting at home you know if you really want it you go for it and speaking of going for going like for all this I noticed that there are a lot of people who don't take the opportunity to really ask their lecturers or teachers if you are having difficulty, if you are a student um, in school, um, please do consult your lecturers if you really need help instead of relying on your friends because these people are the subject experts of what you want and sometimes you know asking for your friends is good but friends they are just like yourself, they have limited knowledge so I see that there's a need for you to step up and really just ask your lecturers or your teachers for something that you don't understand just clarify and then you can get that result okay that goal that you want so really there's a lot of you need to step up your game if you really want something you have to go for it and with that we shall look at the other cards yes def definitely see told you sunflower assertive assertiveness rise up stand stronger and true be frank with yourself if um you want to do something go for it you no know? no nobody's stopping you i think the fact that some people out there they stop themselves because they think they should do this and that you no know? don't restrain yourself okay and with that we also have courage when picking roses don't fear the thorns okay all right definitely i think some of you guys are too scared to go ask because you feel that you'll be judged but don't worry i think everybody at the end of the day will be judged for whatever that they do and you only leave once so definitely just take the chance to go and get what you want if you want to clarify something go and clarify something if you want to ask the person out for a coffee, go ask that person out for a coffee. If you want to go and buy a cinema ticket, go and buy a cinema ticket. Just do it, you know? Just do it. Like the Shah Labouf, the video. I don't know, is that how you pronounce the surname? I think so. But yeah, I mean, that's what I see here. And you guys are also very dainty too. Because the Queen of Shells, look at, look at this. Almost on says Siga. This is a seal. Look at, look at her. She's just sitting so elegantly, very poised, very graceful. Even in the original tarot deck itself, the Queen of Cups is so very dainty. Then she's like holding her cup, like one offers somebody, but she never give. So there's a lot of like feelings. There's a kind of uptight feelings. There's a lot of things that you guys want to do, and the universe is just trying to tell you to just go for it. You know just go for that thing okay go and fight for it knight of wands okay just charge for it because you deserve it so yep i think that's about it for pow tree if you guys like this reading feel free to like this video and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't I hope you are taking care of yourself, you know, just be assertive, go out for it, go out for the challenge, go out for the opportunities, and I hope 
that you get the results that you want. Uh, take care, stay safe, and thank you for watching. <laughs> this is Power 4 reading if you chose Power 4. So today we'll be taking a look at any messages that are motivational or inspirational to you. And with that, we shall dive into the cards. We have the Two of Feathers. Decisions Direction. Hmm, okay. Interesting. We have the Knight of Feathers. Ooh, wow. Okay. Action Focus. Hmm. King of Cups. I wouldn't be surprised that if any of you chose Pau Tree because Pau Tree has King of Shelves. Maybe you guys can be a couple too. <laughs> okay, so I see here that you guys are conflicted in the past, making decisions, don't know where to go, you know, like the get go. Like you don't know where to, whether to change into that particular um, color of the skin. That, I mean, the, that's the get, get go. But I see it for ourselves as human. I see that you guys are conflicted with don't know which direction to go. You don't know where to go, whether to go to path A or path B. And now you're still like searching, you know, like trying to focus whether is this the right path. Because now you're on that one path, it's in the present. And your most important goal is that you want to have integrity, you want to have harmony. So maybe you guys there's a chances that you may have been um, dishonoring yourself. I, I have a feeling the word disservice coming out. I don't know why, but I feel like you guys are not doing something that is meant for your purpose. So I think overall, all in all, I think is the universe is trying to say um, to do something that is right for you. Do what is right in your heart, right in your mind because feathers is swords and two of swords is always depicted in the tarot that is someone who um, who is holding two swords up in a cross manner like you know like just a cross and that person is blindfolded so you guys are not seeing something maybe you guys are going through a direction that you feel that it's very you thought it's the right thing but now you're adopting yourself if not why why is it so, this post is like like a fox is like trying to like um see whether if they go through the right path whether is this the right place to go and then there's the feather there it's like you're following like some stuff here okay wow i mean i mean it's common for people to feel like they are being lost at the same time i think that if, if at some point of time we have to really be frank with ourselves that where do we want to go okay you know you will never get to the place where you feel like you are very stable in terms of emotions in terms of your mind because king of shelves king of cups is someone who is very stable in his emotions and in terms of mind he is also very stable he is someone who can give his heart very wi willingly and he is someone who is very, again, very compassionate, very peace-loving kind of person, just like the Queen of Cups. But here, because this is a car, this is a king, is a male figure, so is this is someone who's more uh, authoritative. Not in a bad way. It's not a very demanding, very controlling. He's not a very controlling type. He's someone who wants to see other people uh, nurture so maybe you guys are nur nurturers but I think this time the universe is trying to ask you to just nurture yourself you know go inwards and see what is it that needs to be cleared okay yeah if I'm not wrong you guys are the one that have the card that is clearing okay let us look at the other cards to see if is any more
oops don't have but definitely there's a need for you to transform emerge with beauty and grace from your cocoon so okay this is the time where you guys are in the transitioning state so if you are a guy in singapore probably some of you guys are in national service this is the time for you to really grow learn new things about yourself make new friends with people and at the same time um, enjoy the journey the two years journey of becoming a man <laughs> okay and to really go like beyond the surface okay hidden depths there's just like a lotus there's something that is still um, unfolding right now you are just seeing the surface but you haven't seen uh, what is underneath that is leading you to the right path so there's a calling okay there's a calling that you guys need to take maybe you guys need to see some signs or whatever that shows that you're on the right path so if you also you, if you are someone who are, is religious you can ask God for help to see where you're going and let him decide or whoever that it is la, like maybe it's time for you to go and really just think through like what you really want out of your life so um, in terms of motivational and inspirational I would say that this is more of a motivational kind of message is a kind of uh, of this reading this reading feels like it it's trying to convince people to change their minds so definitely I hope that this reading does convince you to see something more than what you are having okay in order to reach to that king of shelves um, position because again the knight of feathers the knight of swords is someone who's also immature wants to go and do things fast but at the same time they don't know what they're doing too because they are young so definitely that that is why I say that this reading is more catered to someone who is very young or someone who has lack of experience in certain expertise and I think this message here is to really ask you to look at a certain direction look at what is beyond and make a decision okay shouldn't be too scared like this gecko here all right so yeah I think that is all for this reading powerful if you do like this reading feel free to like this video and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't I hope that this reading does uh, resonate with you in some ways and gets you motivated or enlightens you with some new perspective and with that I shall end here and we'll see you next time